and not least, a distinguished member of this panel. The gentleman from Washington is recognized. For Thank discussion. you. Thank you. Uh, Chairman uh, T. Berry and Ranking Member Neal and Mr. Paulson. Uh, <laughs> thank you for the opportunity to testify today. I'm uh, proud to be a part of the ongoing uh, effort and work that uh, our committee, the Ways and Means uh, Committee, is doing on uh, comprehensive uh, tax reform, both, both in the corporate world and in the individual tax reform world, so that American businesses can better compete in the global economy and American families can keep more of their hard-earned money. Today's review of tax extenders is critical to tax reform, as you all know, and I appreciate the chance to, uh, to offer my suggestions today on how this tax extenders package might be, uh, might be put together and, and formed for uh, um, our committee and the, and, the, and the country that we serve. As a representative from Washington State, uh, no statement on taxes, however, can begin without reminding you of a tax incentive that affects every single taxpayer, Mr. Neal, in the state of Washington, not just in southwestern Washington, as you mentioned earlier. With the gentleman, Neal, I'm glad you picked yes, up sir. on that. I was concerned. That <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she, she meant the entire state also. The state, the state sales tax deduction is so critical to that handful of states uh, across our country that has the state sales tax versus the state income tax. So it's just a for us, it's a matter of fairness, and the, the, uh, those states that have the income tax, uh, of course, uh, that law is in law. Uh, they don't have to ask for a tax extender. Uh, this is, uh, this is a, uh, an important, critical thing for our taxpayers in Washington State to have equality and fairness uh, really across the board and across this country, and it would really uh, be a tremendous tax relief for our citizens. So I urge your consideration. I encourage the committee to consider two other tax extenders. Uh, one would leverage uh, maximum private sector capital, and the other that I'd like to talk about is the, um, uh, would also uh, create potential to, uh, to create jobs and s uh, sustain American jobs. So two tax extenders. One is the production tax credit that's been talked a lot uh, to, about today. Uh, it's leveraged $15 billion in private sector capital in the wind industry alone. Now, you know, it includes wind, hydro, geothermal, landfill waste, uh, biomass. So it's not just about uh, wind, but it has all those other components to it. Uh, that's nearly 12 times the revenue, though, estimated for the bill. $15 billion, 12 times the revenue estimate. The investment supports an increasing number of manufacturing jobs, not to mention the services jobs that design and finance these capital-intensive in energy projects an incentive that puts Americans to work lowering energy costs for other Americans is worthy of an extension, as has been said many times today. And I'm pleased that there's such strong support in Congress and in the Ways and Means Committee for extending the production tax credit. That includes a, a majority of the members on uh, this subcommittee, 14 members of the full committee, and 95 members of Congress representing 32 states who have, co have co who have co sponsored the bill I introduced with Mr. Blumenauer. An estimated 37,000 American jobs are at risk if the PTC is not extended, if Congress is truly committed to pursuing the all of the above energy policy and bringing needed certainty to the economy for job creators, extending the PTC in the next available tax vehicle can achieve both. I'm pleased to submit a letter from uh, several. House uh, Republicans who agree. A second bipartisan extender I introduced with uh, Mr. Kine from Wisconsin is the reduced holding period for capital for built-in gains. I'm sorry. Simply put, this common sense bill enables S corporations to ex access their own capital sooner. Fifty-six percent of the private sector jobs in Washington State are in small businesses across this country. We all here from these business in our businesses in our district, they're struggling to access capital. My bill is an easy way to help them do just that. I would also like to submit a letter from 13 organizations representing millions of small businesses across America who support this provision. These are the two extenders that leverage private capital to create jobs. Both face looming expirations and both deserve the committee's consideration and tax extenders. Uh, I appreciate your time. Thank you. 